No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. All right, so tell us a little bit about the history and how it went inspired you guys to start this school. All right, do your thing. You want the whole, whole back story? No, no, no. I'll condense it. I'll condense it. So basically, you know, um, me and my brother here, we had a vision. You know what I mean? We were just we were dancers, we were going back and forth to the news and um, the pop cars and stuff like that. Random coke and TikTok and stuff. But um, we came up with this name because of my grandmother because uh, she, we was always dancing with her. She was always like, hell yeah, the hell reason, come on, the hell reason. Then we took it a little deeper because we used to like the hell reason movie. But, but um, what we truthfully did was like, we took a lot of dances. You know what I mean? Because I mean, we watched a lot of dances. So this this crew here, whether y'all know or not, y'all hand picked. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just like any old dances off the block. Y'all was had to be good on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Chill, chill. So they came through and it started like that, man. Okay. You know? Well, I like that. I like that y'all was community and y'all came together. You know, a lot of crews back then was definitely doing it. And, you know, coming up in the scene and definitely repping for the dance floor. So I got different flavors. I was seeing it tonight when we was filming, so I can't wait to edit it. But I want also, where do y'all think y'all taking your journey as far as with the kids and everything? And, you know, just giving the people, you know, the future stance of this thing. Talk to them. They better learn. Well, basically, what's going to happen is, you know, I basically retired and I passed it on to uh, another younger member of the crew. Y'all um, Where is he? I mean, Ron. Uh, I had I had passed it on to another crew. I passed it on to him to keep the name going. But also I gotta also represent my man Poker. He's here too. Yeah. Keep the name alive. Yeah. Yeah. Poker's definitely keeping the name alive. And then for everybody else that's still there, it's like TikTok, my son, TikTok, my man, TikTok, you know, he beat us, but he's still teaching the youth. He's still teaching. Poker, you know what I mean? We still, basically, we retired, man. We like this. You know what I'm saying? be told, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that age, you know what I mean? But we also, like, now, before anything, the only reason why I rebooted, the only reason why I rebooted is that dude over there. The yeah, that, that big tall dude right there that's walking there. My man locks there, huh? Huh? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. People like him. See that man right there? And damn, Prancer left. All right, take it back real quick. Let me take it back real quick. I'm 12, 13 years old, and I'm over here talking about some. I'm the magnificent. Doing all that, mocking him. And my mother's sitting in the room looking at me like this, watching me look at these people. That was how long ago. Now, a lot of y'all don't know that. That artist, his name was Special Ed. He had two dancers. Prancer and Kazo. I mark they moves to Special Ed's whole first album. Y'all don't know this. Prancer was the dude that was over here dancing to the old school music about an hour and a half ago. The one that left. The one that left. He came and shit. Love him. Love him. Yes. Prancer, people like him, if it wasn't for people like him, I wouldn't even have gotten into dancing at all. Fast forward, here we are, 1990, 1991. I'm a, now, I'm a good dancer. Because, uh, that's back when I was dancing. I'm a good dancer. Like, I'm a good dancer. I'm a good dancer. I go to the skating ring. Here come these two dudes. Dude, actually, it was three people calling themselves stepchilds. Stepchilds consisted of a Puerto Rican girl named Pumpkin who. You have to see how rock it was. Like, oh my god. This little bitch is bad. And two of the members, TikTok <laughs> and Poco. So for about a year, I was just in the skate ring dancing with them. I became part of what they call Stepchilds, which was only three members, now four. Then, I started going to the ring on Friday night. That was Sunday. I started going on Friday. I went one Friday. Now, I went one Friday. I met this man. But he only danced to the house music. I was still on some popping and locking for the house music. Only gay people listen to that. That's the mentality I had. But the way this man's feet was moving to that beat, I'm like, no, I want to do that. I want to do that. Lo and behold, it turns out that he wasn't by himself. It was 
him. That man over there that's talking mad loud and cutting me off. KB. I'm sorry. Flex I'm sorry. left. Sorry, sorry. Flex. Nah. I think he has a messed up foot or something, so he left for about two hours. I didn't know he was there at the time. I am about to get to that. So I'm talking to him about dancing or whatever. He laughs at me. I'm over here popping and locking, trying to make my name. So I got my name. He's dancing, doing footwork. I didn't know what that was. I thought house music meant Vogan, right? I get to know him, and I'm like, yo, you got a crew, or if you don't, you need to turn this into a crew. He said, I can't. I said, why? He said, because my brother's not here. It took a while, like five years, for me to find out this was the brother he was referring to. Where's your hell, That's when I was like, oh, y'all was dead serious with this. Okay. Four members. It was John, Dayron, KB, and Flex. So I said, all right, you know what? I'm getting down with this crew. This you know guys. Me and we battle anyway. Flex. Uh, I got my ass case. He made me battle KB. I was like, KB, I got you. Nobody ever spoke for him. And then I said, he said, fuck it, I'm a battle you. I battle John. I got my ass kicked. I ain't come back to the statement for two weeks. See, I, don't, I don't smoke weed, so I remember all of this shit. <laughs> Here we are three years later, we all know people who are on TV and doing videos and all that. Y'all already did that. Why don't you want to do that? Now nah, I don't feel right because my brother ain't around. Let me talk to my brother. Sometime later, he was like, yo, if you really know how we can make it happen, let's make it happen. I was like, yo, I accidentally joined another group called Spectiles and all the niggas is already doing videos. Why don't you just talk to them? Hey, came Nisu. By that point, when he had show off got down, show off got down. They battled show. At this point, it's like six, seven of us. I was like, let's run with it. Fast forward 10 years. Different Hellraiser members in different music videos on different tours at the same time. That's when we was like, we got something. Now we got rappers who are, this person's rapping in Brooklyn while this person's on tour. Down south. We are doing something now. Let's run with this. Fast forward another five years. Now we got 20 something members. Everybody in Brooklyn knows who we are. We in so many music videos. Every time, let me say how old y'all are. Every time Robert Daniel dropped another video on Real Music Box, <laughs> one of us was in that video. When, I mean, John slowed down, they was like, Hellraiser oh, is dead. All I said was, no the fuck. Not as long as I can step foot in the skate ring, they don't know who we are. Y'all look, they were friends. No. We was there. I did not know that people would follow behind what I was doing. A year and a half later, John hit me about the blue. You really keeping this alive. I was like, yo, what's it to you? John said, my brother needs to know who you are. I still have not met this man yet. You understand what I'm saying? When they were dancing house music, I was too young to get into Sound Factory. I was at the door getting turned away because I was 16. John was like, oh, I'm sorry, I tried. You got to go home. And so I took my toes between my legs and I went home. Fast so forward 25, 30 years. Now we all doing music videos. Now I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm in music videos. I'm modeling. I'm in magazines. I'm doing crazy magazines. Thanks to Paul Bill, who's not paying attention. Um, and I was actually doing hair modeling, thanks to TikTok, who had long hair at the time. Long story short, I didn't do this because I was trying to do something. I just tried to continue a legacy. I did not realize that it would turn into this. When they went poker, hit me up about a reunion, I was like, ain't nobody gonna do that, man. But yo, if you wanna do it, even if it's just us two poker, I'm with it. Look at us now. This right here means a lot. You understand what I'm saying? From that man being a little skinny kid, who all he can do is a cartwheel, that he calls the backflip and the L kick, to doing choreography and touring around the world, like, yeah. you understand what I'm saying?